And let's get to that gruesome discovery in South Suburban Markham. Out, Germont Terry live outside the police department. Germont police say the family had no idea. Erica, family members were here at the police station late tonight answering questions from detectives. I'm told that they are cooperating in this investigation. Police telling me that the family suspected something was strange about the suitcases, but no one expected body parts. Markham police spent much of Tuesday outside this house on 164th and Wood. David Scott didn't think much of the cops across the street at first. And by the time I ran to the neighborhood store, came back, that's when I saw the uh, yellow tape from the crime scene. I knew something was bad had happened here. Yeah. But he, along with the family living here, didn't realize how bad things were. Markham police telling me the homeowner's son recently came to visit from Kentucky. He brought with him luggage, uh, two, three bags. Heavy luggage, and inside the dismembered body parts of a woman. Police say the man boarded the Greyhound bus in Louisville, Kentucky, traveling more than five hours with those body parts to the Harrison bus station in downtown Chicago. His family picked him up, brought him and those bags to this house in Markham. That's even more crazy. Traveling body parts. Chief Terry White insisting the family did not realize what was in the bags. But after a few days, it became odd when the man never unpacked, but he kept guarding the suitcases. There were some early reports of a foul odor coming from the bags. Tuesday morning, the man left the house and headed to the Markham Library, leaving the suitcases behind. When family finally opened the suitcase, a human body part was discovered. They immediately backed away and called police. And police found several chopped up body parts of one woman, a crime they believe happened in Kentucky, but unraveled in Marco. You see stuff like this on TV. You know, see stuff like this up from your next cross street neighbor. Now, those suitcases were in the home for several days. Tonight, investigators from Markham, the FBI, and Louisville all looking into this case. I'm told that the woman and or the body could be linked to a woman that was reported missing in Louisville last week. Tonight, that man remains here in custody at Markham PD. Reporting live in Markham tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Jermont, thank you.